The Pathway to Peace. Psalm 37, verses 3 through 7. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. We're living in difficult times. The spread of the coronavirus has caused all kinds of panic and disruption all over the world. How can we find peace in this time of turmoil? The first step in the pathway to peace is found here in Psalm 37, verse 3. We need to trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good. And the promises will dwell in the land and enjoy, enjoy safe pasture. We will never find true peace until we learn to trust in the Lord. Hebrews 11.6 says, Without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, and he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Unless we're trusting in God, we'll never be able to come to a place of, of rest, a place of peace. This is the call that Jesus gave us. He said, are you weary and heavy burdened? Come to me and take my yoke upon you. Learn of me for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. He says, come and trust in me. Follow me. We're saved by grace through faith. We're not saved by our own works or anything we can do. We're saved when we trust in Jesus. When we have faith in him, that means to trust in him. So the first step on this pathway to peace is to trust in the Lord. The next verse, Psalm 37, 4 says, Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. As you trust in the Lord, you realize that he's the source of everything that you need. All good gifts, we're told, come down from the Father of light with whom there is no shadow changing, that we can trust in him and we can count on him for our lives. We can take delight in him. Psalm 37 verse 23 and 24 says, the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. When we delight ourselves in the Lord and we set our hearts upon him, and he becomes our affection. He says that he will make us firm. And even if we do slip, even if we do start to come back into that worry and that panic, that he will hold us up and keep us from falling. Verses 5 and 6 tell us that the next step in this pathway of peace is to commit your way to the Lord. To commit our way to the Lord. That means our, directs, our direction, our steps, the way we're going, that we'll follow him. If you trust in him and have given him your heart, then you'll be willing to follow him, to choose his way. Someone says, I trust you, Jesus. And then he says, okay, come follow me. He says, well, where are you going? I don't want to go that direction. Isn't really trusting him. If we trust him, we commit our way to him, which means we commit our lives to him. We commit the direction of our lives, where we'll go and say, yes, I'll follow you. And when we commit our way to the Lord, we know that he's going to take care of us. That's when it comes to this point where it says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. This might be the hardest part of all of it. When we've committed something to the Lord, to let it rest with Him. To cast all our cares on Him because we know He cares for us. To be able to rest in Him and not fret. No matter what's coming at us, no matter what's going on, we can trust in Him and we can be at rest. And this is the place where we need to be. A place of peace. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. We never did know. Now we're even more uncertain because of all the uncertainty around us. People told to stay home, worried about touching one another, worrying about connecting with one another, worrying about what's going on with the economy, 
worrying about all kinds of things. But we can trust in the Lord and delight in Him, commit our way to Him so that we can rest in Him and be at peace. I remember years ago hearing about a contest for uh, painters, painting a picture that illustrated peace. And there was a picture of a beautiful sunset and another picture of a meadow with flowers and the sun coming through the trees and another picture of a mother holding a baby. All beautiful pictures of peacefulness, but they didn't win the contest. The one that won the contest was a picture of a raging waterfall and ragged, rugged, steep rocks and, and turmoil. And you looked at it and you say, why did it win? But then as you look closely at the picture, jutting out of the rocks next to the waterfall was a tree. And in the tree is a bird sitting on its nest, completely at peace. Jesus said, God knows the hairs on your head. You're not going to make yourself taller or change your hair by worrying. And God knows every sparrow that falls from the sky. And he says to us, Jesus said to the disciples and says to us, you're worth more than many sparrows. So just like the bird resting upon its nest in the midst of the turmoil around it, in the same way, even when the world is raging around us, we too can be at rest. So when the world is at turmoil, when your heart is moving toward panic, take these steps to peace. Trust in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. And finally, rest in the Lord. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for those members of the Barberton and Taiwanese Friends Church that are scattered throughout northeastern Ohio for anyone else that might tune in to watch this little video. We pray that you would take the words of your word and apply it to each of our hearts. The people who don't know you would come to learn how much you love them and entrust their lives to you. And that all of us might learn to rest in you more and more as we walk through these days ahead. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.